G'day everybody. So today we are going to be looking at how an outboard motor works. This is a video I've wanted to do for quite a while. So what I've done here is I've cut away part of the block so that we can look inside and get a visual on the parts and how everything works. So we'll just run through some of the major parts here. We have the crank and that runs all the way up. The flywheel is bolted to the crank as well. That's a spinning assembly. We have a piston here. We have a set of rings here, which seal the piston to the bore walls. So we also have here a connecting rod, which connects the piston to the crank. We have a set of reed valves here, which we'll have a closer look at in a minute. We have a carburetor. And up in here on the inside of the flywheel, that's a flywheel which has been cut away so we can look inside. We have some magnets and an exciter coil. So that creates, yeah, electric charge basically and through the coil and a power pack it's set that that sends enough power to create a spark at the correct time to create ignition in here and make the motor run we'll do a few revolutions of this motor so we can check out how the whole system works we will start at bottom dead center so that's as low as the piston goes inside the bore um, there's a fair bit going on on the intake side of a two-stroke outboard motor um, so we'll talk about that first and then we'll talk about the combustion side second. Okay, so as the motor spins, you can see that the piston here starts raising up inside the bore. And what that starts doing is creating a vacuum on the intake side here, on the back side of this piston. Something needs to equalize that. So what happens is as the piston raises up, these reed valves open and a fuel air mixture is pulled into that chamber all the way up until the piston reaches top dead center. You can see how much more volume is being sucked into that area. So all the way up until right there, so the piston can go no further up in that bore. And then as the motor continues to spin, the piston starts coming down and starts compressing that fuel air mixture. And those reed valves shut and seal that chamber. And that fuel air mixture now is being compressed by the piston all the way down until the piston passes the ports here. So about there, that port starts opening because the piston has passed. That port there is connected to this chamber through a channel on the other side. I'll show you the part I cut off this side in a sec. But air and fuel mixture, this compressed air fuel mixture now is shot out that port in a loop motion. So that, that is a, quite a specific angle that it shoots out there and it does a loop motion and pushes out the exhaust, out this exhaust port here. So we'll just run through that again. Pistons coming up, sucking in fuel air mixture all the way up until there. Starts compressing that fuel air mixture all the way down until that port opens and then it's shot out and all the exhaust gas is pushed out. All right, so let's have a look at the combustion side here now. All right, so as we just spoke about the fuel system, once we get to about there, the fuel air mixture is forced into this combustion chamber. And then once the piston, once this ring here so we've got new fresh fuel air mixture in here. Once this continues to spin and this ring here starts sealing up from there, the combustion chamber, that fresh air fuel mix in here is now compressed all the way up until about there. Motors actually fire before they get to the top. So it's compressed all the way up until about there. And that fresh air fuel mixture is now ignited and there's an explosion in this chamber and the motor continues to spin, compressing that exploded gases even further and creating even more pressure. And you can see now the piston starts to, with that explosion, starts to push that crank back down. So that's, that's actually the, the power of the motor. That explosion is now pushing this connecting rod and spinning the crank so that goes down then all the way till there. The exhaust gas starts to escape through that exhaust port there. And when that intake port 
there opens, that, that pressurized air fuel mix comes in and swirls and pushes even more of that burnt gas out. So we'll just do another revolution. So that new fresh air fuel mix has come in, swirl, pushed out the exhaust. It's sealed there, starts coming up, compress, 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 fire, compress even further, coming down, coming down with the, the force pushing the crank, spinning the motor. And then exhaust gas starts to escape there, down the exhaust port, fresh air fuel mix comes in, swirl, push out, compress from there, bang, exhaust, air fuel. Very, very cool and very simple. I love these things. So we'll just have a quick look also at the cooling system on an outboard. So we've got some water galleries in here, some cooling water galleries or water jackets. So basically cooling water is pumped up into these areas from the gear case, the impeller down in the gear case and cooling water passes through these areas and exits out. And the idea of these is to keep the combustion area of the piston at the right temperature. There's a lot of heat generated in here, obviously, and also to keep the head cool. So yeah, it's, a, it's another simple, simple thing on an outboard, but um, you can see if you run your motor in salt water and these get blocked up, uh, it's gonna obviously affect the motor a lot. But yeah, very, very cool. So we'll just have a bit of a closer look at these reed valves. So here we have a reed valve stop and the reed valve itself. So the reed valve stop is designed so that once this um, spring reed valve opens, it won't open far enough to hit the actual crank. Yeah, so and the reed, the reed plates themselves are basically just made out of thin spring steel. So yeah, that's the reed valves. Very simple little mechanism, but yeah, it works very, very well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. There's plenty more cool stuff on the channel and plenty more cool stuff coming up.